Hi there, I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Thursday, August 20th, 2020, and I'm going to speak my thoughts out loud as I solve this. If you'd like to follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen in red. Okay, Thursday is my favorite day of the puzzling week, so I am excited to dig into this one. Finishing, my first impression of this puzzle is it's a lot, it seems like a low word count puzzle. This looks like a more wide open white space than I'm used to on a themed puzzle, so that should be cool. Finishing touches of a sort. Uh, not sure. Tiny beef. Maybe like a knit beef as in like, I've got a problem with you, we've got beef. I'm not sure that it's knit though. Feds. I feel like that's usually like G-men, like government men maybe, is that what that is? Um, Dr. Evil's little clone, that's mini-me, that's good use of a six-letter slot. Finishing touches, probably gonna be an S, right? Uh, title with a tilde, that's Senora, good. Okay, see 18 across, with 19 across, heretofore. Uh, what's that? Um, I'm not sure, I'm not seeing it really. All good here, maybe like I'm set. And then this is icings, that makes sense. Finishing touches, icings on the cake, I suppose. Popular Oldsmobile model, I'm not sure about that. With 20 across, balance regulator. What's, I don't really want to go to 20 across, so I'll just get that later. Air, air not? Here to four, air what? Not sure how that finishes. Root, is that tarot? Okay, serenader on a pea green boat in rhyme. I have no idea what that is referring to. Inner ear, is that what it is? Okay, inner ear. Wow, interesting cross reference there. Um, Sierra, Sierra, I don't know. An old wedding dress might have this. All right, our first theme entry. An old wedding dress might have this. I see like sentence, but I don't see how that makes sense. Dipstick. Uh, sentimental value? Is it not G-men? The problem is the G and the M are both right, so... Sentimental value? Not sure, an old wedding dress. Sentim... No, it doesn't really work. It doesn't work with Senora either. Alright, get a room, Elicitor. That's gonna be P PDA, Public Display of Affection. Let's go here. Blank speak? I don't know. Uh, Romania's currency, I don't know off the top of my head. Languish, huh. Rot or something maybe? Hindu god, oof, these crosses are giving me trouble. Some reds, uh, Merlots, Cabernets, um, what else? What else? Bases make up a part of it. Maybe like the periodic table? No. That doesn't make sense. Bases are like solutions. Uh, what do they make up part of? The pH scale, nice. Good entry. Good entry. Uh, blank speak. And honestly, this clue would have been probably easier if it was acids make up a part of it, because then there'd be no ambiguity that it was talking about, like the acid base scale, but bases can mean a lot of things. Good Thursday clue. Blank speak. Uh, not sure still. Not sure still. And then languish, what's this going to be? Why am I not seeing this? Languish. I still don't see this. Some reds. And it's not Cabernets unless there is like some kind of rebus going on. Uh, and what's this? Dainty dining decorations or doilies. That is a lot of alliteration. Dainty dining decorations or doilies. Wow. All right. Is it like ease speak? I still don't really get that. I don't think I know Romania's currency. Anguish is just ale, okay. Probably should have seen that sooner. Sooner. I feel like I've seen this, but I don't really know what it's all about. So I'm gonna put it and see if it works out. Hindu god of destruction. I don't know this either. Ring-shaped cutters attached to drills, probably hole something. Maybe hole something. So I'm definitely, I'm seeing sentimental value. Siva, sentimental value. There's some kind of trick going on. Or maybe Senora is just wrong. Um, sent, oops. Sent, 
sentimental. So like, there's probably maybe a rebus because there's just not enough space for sentimental value. I'm a little disturbed by the E though, because I could have sworn sentiment was spelled with an I here. Sentiment, so I, imment. Hmm, very curious. C18 across, heretofore, air now maybe? Is it just now? Before now, that makes sense. Dipstick maybe is a twit? Okay, is this like, am I just spelling sentiment wrong? That would be dumb. And is this just a men, no, a men rebus? Maybe men is supposed to go here. And then, Senor, senora. So men and an enye. Huh. Very curious. Okay, I gotta get some more of these to figure out what's going on. I'm just, I'm not quite, it's not quite clicking yet. Custom auto accessories. Probably, I don't know. Beef, for example. Meat, could be a few things. First name in jazz, probably Etta James. Please have another, please have a heart, I don't know. Shiny fabrics. What is this? Oof, these clues are hard for me. The blank generation Q sequel series starting in 2019. Oh no, I don't know any of this stuff at all. Must haves are, are probably needs, right? Why blank thou promise such a beauteous day? Why, why doth? I don't know. All right, come on, is that, uh, I think this is a kitchen brand. Does the X work? Yeah, XCon works, okay. Super's apartment often. Huh. Like a unit or something, I don't know. Pink alcoholic drink familiarly. This puzzle's giving me some trouble. Peter. This is an actor, but I have no idea if he was in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Pinches pennies. Scrimps, maybe? That could be right. It's got Potench. Request that's risky if you're over 18. Huh. Request that's risky if you're over 18. What is that? Relatives of violas. Is this like the cap the plural of cello? All right. Cosmo, good. A oh, 1A. That's a that's an interesting clue for 1A. The super's apartment like lives in kind of the first apartment number in the complex. Wow, that's tough. All right, Mickey's rival for Minnie's affection. Damn, I'm just not knowing this stuff unfortunately. I need, I, I'm waiting for an aha, I need something. Is this olive oil? Like from Popeye? Serenator? Seems plausible. Er, um. Oof, that is not much of a clue, is it? How are we gonna get out of this? Carrier of sleeping sickness. Carrier of sleeping sickness. Is that like a mosquito or a coyote or something? Not a coyote, a tick? I don't know. Coy coyote fits, which I think is why I said it, but I don't really get it. Damn. I was hoping that one of these themers would click, but like I'm really struggling with the extra fill. So cool. Uh -huh. All right, onward, I guess, onward. Uh, popular salad dressing. Italian? Okay, college blank. Something that might include an SAT score. College app. Interesting. Commercial lead into Mart. Kmart, Hmart. Neither of these, unless it's K like this, but that wouldn't be right because it's not. That's not true. It's just the letter K in Kmart. Basic bio subject, anatomy, what is it? Uh, ecology, it could be like eco maybe, not sure. 
loosey goosey. Not sure. Um, is this a revealer? Damn, I don't want a revealer. I want to figure it out. Damn. It's got teeth. I mean, a, a saw has teeth. Cog. Multi volume ref works. Like OEDs, maybe? Oxford English Dictionary? That's OD, good. So, I've heard, okay. Issuance from an American embassy, US visa, great. Making some progress. So this is gonna be a mouse. That's why mouse isn't in the clue, that makes sense. I don't really know it, is it like Mortimer, Mortimer mouse? I, I, I don't really know this, unfortunately. Why pluralized? Wow. What does this mean? Huh. Wow, I really am having trouble parsing, understanding that clue. All right, Esme, I think, is, is the Salinger title girl. That's good. And then I know there's a Rebus hiding in here somewhere, all right? I don't know it because, like, I don't get how men goes here and where the tilde belongs then. Semenola or something? What, what is that? Semen, is that what it is? Is the tilde in the N in, in men? Custom auto accessory. Is that rims? Like you put rims on your tires? Wow. Beef is a meat. Okay, we're making some progress. So cool. Aces? Uh, so cool. I'm not sure. Cutters are whole something. What's this? Oh, a tsetse fly. Wow. All right. I'm like just making enough progress. I'm just like crawling through this thing. Request that's risky if you're over 18. Hit me. Wow, that's a really cute clue. It's blackjack. It's not an age. It's blackjack. And that is indeed risky to say hit me when you're... When you have over 18, uh, meaning in your like hand, your your hand totals more than 18, it's nerve. It's uh, risky to get another card because you could bust. That is a great clue. Good, good Thursday clue. Serenader on a pea green boat. I'm really not liking this YH, so I'm gonna change this. Serenader on a green boat in rhyme. Is it an owl? Or um, is it like white noise? What is it? Uh. Owl kind of makes no. I have no idea what this is. What rhyme this is referring to? But owl like W plays well with H. What? What? Um. Is this also? Oh my gosh. The problem. I think the reason I'm having so much trouble is because there are just rebuses around. Like this is probably a rebus. This square right here. It's got teeth, and it's not a men rebus because S P M E N doesn't make any sense. So I have men over here. I really should just get a revealer, but I like figuring out themes on my own. It's got teeth. What has teeth? Like other than the obvious, I'm thinking like a saw or a cog. A comb has teeth. Um, Mortimer Mouse? Is it Mur? No, but Mur. The other, yeah, I'm just very confused. I don't know if Mortimer Mouse is right, but the other thing about Mortimer is that that should also have an I here instead of an E, which is another strange thing. I don't know if that's related at all. I wonder if this. It's like supposed to feel like an I instead of an E. Like what, what I meant, meant, meant was, what I meant was, is that what it is? This is so strange. I'm just gonna try some stuff. What I meant was, it's so weird because this E is here and here, and both of them are supposed to be an I. And then there's like a men here. But it's not fully men. This one is actually not men. What I... It's M-E-A. 
here. This would be M-E-A. So like whole smears or something. Is that possible? So confused. I really want to figure this out. So let's see if the was works over here. The blank generation, the, the blank generation Q. Is this like, um, I don't know, the twins? I don't, I don't think I know this, unfortunately. What about this? Shiny fabrics. Damn. Is this an S? Y? Huh. Please have... Please have... Please have a seat. Okay, great. I think that's right. I think that's right. This is probably an S. Wow, why, why do, doesest, doest? I wish I got this clue. Oh, I feel like I just barely don't have enough. So cool. Awesome. Oh my God, why was I having, I, I think I was just so convinced that this was gonna be two words and not one. Wow, so it's just awesome, which totally fits the, it's not even a hard clue. I don't know why I was missing that. And then what's this? I still don't see this, unfortunately. I still don't see this, damn. I'm not gonna be able to finish this section, honestly. Um, but now I have this, which just looks like whole saws. Okay, so I see. Maybe it's not, it's not that this is supposed to be an E, it's that I am is missing from this. What I meant was, I am is missing from this. Now let's, ah, this is just an N, I'm so dumb, why did this take me so long? I am is just missing from this, it's sent I am ent all value. So it's just that we're removing I am from entries. Sentental value, what the ent was, okay, so it's just I am, and then it is again more to mermouse, wow. All right, so at least I got the themers, I still don't know what the revealer is gonna be, but now at least I feel justified in, in asking for a revealer. So let's let's figure it out. Classic young adult novel or hint to the path taken by four letters in the answers to the starred clues. Interesting. Very interesting. Ah, so then ah, okay, I just noticed something because of that clue. The I am is not just missing, it's moved. It's moved up here. Look at that. It's it goes sent I am entel value. And then this one goes what I am meant was, and then same here with uh, with scrimps. Wow, very cool. So what is going to be, so the path taken, classic young adult novel, or hint to the path taken. Wow, what is this revealer going to be? What is this going to be? I really want to know. Disgruntled. Uh, it can be broken but not fixed. I don't know, I'm not seeing it. QB protectors, maybe like the offensive line. Uh, is this, is this Aspens or Asters? One up is top and Aspens, okay. Longhorn rival, not sure. Is this Enos? I'm not sure, I'll leave it blank for now. It can be broken but not fixed. Dish served with a spoon and chopstick. That's ramen. Yes. Big pitchers are yours. A law can be broken but not fixed. That makes sense. Disgruntled is just sore. Okay. And then something in time. And then this is Longhorn Rival. Does Sooner make sense here? I'm doing this because I think Enos was in the puzzle yesterday, and I really don't know my Bible figures, but I think this might be right. Um, let's see. There's there's a stitch, a wrinkle. A wrinkle? A wrinkle in time. Oh, wow. Very cool. So it's not, I, I missed that part. It's not actually the I, just the I am going. It's, it's T-I-M-E. That is the letter string that's common among all of these. T-I-M-E, time. More time. And it's like a wrinkle. 
Like this little thing, it needs to be kind of ironed out. You can even imagine like stretching this out a little bit and the IM comes back down to join the rest of the phrase. It's a wrinkle. What a cute idea. A wrinkle in time, indeed. That was a very satisfying aha, and it took me the whole puzzle to figure it out. I really enjoyed that. I really like it. All right, let's keep solving, and then I'll, I'll say more about the theme. Commercial lead into Mart. That's wall. Should have seen that earlier, too. Basic bio subject. Uh, oh, I had Italian. Why did I delete that? A while ago. Maybe once? Um, what's this? It's got teeth. I want to say like sprocket, but I don't know what a sprocket is. Uh, what's this? Cure all is a panacea. And then hypothetical solar system body beyond Neptune. Is that planet X? Is that what we call it? Yeah, Lucy and Lax checks out. Sprocket, I'm going to say, even though I like the word, but I don't really know what a sprocket is. Um, this is a good section. Pan panacea, planet X, Italian, and even sprocket, even though I don't know what it is. Good, good section. This one too. Um, all right, so now it is just this last bit that I'm really worried about. Honestly, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this. So there was no rebus after all. My, my instincts were totally wrong on that. So why pluralized? What on earth does this mean? The dash Y makes me like I feel like it's it's Y functioning as as it, Y functions in this like Lucy you know loose is a word and Lucy Y is a suffix that makes it you know different it's it means like kind of ish or um, esque but pluralized doesn't really make sense in that setting does it yes um... OES? Does that make any sense? Like, uh... Does that make any sense? Really not sure, damn. Damn, damn, damn. I don't know this legal term. I don't know this shiny fabric. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna be able to finish this. Why and what? What is this? Why, I, like I feel like this has one extra letter. It's like dust. Why doest? Why doest? I guess the the what? Uh, generation Q. Um. All right. Ugh. Damn. Is this Tamps? No, Tamps would have a different clue. Uh, all right. Men's. I'm just gonna guess some stuff. Yeah, I'm almost certain my error is like in this section right here. Um, I'll just I'll I'll check what I have wrong. That's a bummer. Whoa. I was not expecting that. I didn't even ch double check. Etta James. Oh no, that was my my mistake. Okay, so let's fix this then. What's going on? La maze, and it's Ella. Oh, and it's L word. The L word. Oh, I could have gotten these. Didst? Wow. All right. So that was our Thursday puzzle, and uh, with the exception of that little um snafu at the end i i really enjoyed solving this one i felt like i was confused the whole way through um and even after i'd gotten all the all of the themers i could not figure out what was going on except i thought i am was missing um and it really took me I, I even got the um the revealer and i had to think about it before figuring out what the hell this meant um and then once it clicked it really clicked and felt great so that was a true aha moment which is what thursdays are for uh so i, I really enjoyed this theme I thought it was executed well it just definitely left a good impression on me because I was so confused I went through so many theories as I was solving this thing like first I was certain there was a men rebus and I thought a tilde might have something to do with it like because this was an enye where the rebus was and then I thought um what I, uh, like something to do with this e was very strange that this e was always supposed to be an i and then uh i noticed that the im was missing and then i noticed that the im was above here and then finally it clicked that uh it's t-i-m-e wow 
Um, so that was that was a lot of theories that I went through, and uh, and it was fun to figure out what was going on at the end. And the themers are solid. Sentimental value, uh, what I meant was, and Mortimer Mouse, even though that was, I clearly knew it somewhere in, in the back of my head, but it doesn't like immediately um, come to memory and a wrinkle in time. Very nice. So I've seen themes where um, letters in the entry like get lifted up. Uh, you know, it might be like, I don't know, I've seen like, for example, hand-me-downs is uh, was a theme I saw where the letter string M-E was um, handed down to the next line. So M-E was found below, um, just like the I-M is found above here. So I've seen themes with this very construction, but to picture them as a wrinkle um, in the entry is really nice. It's a different, it's a totally different geometry to like just down or up. It's a wrinkle. It needs to be ironed out. Um, and having the letter string be, be the full time rather than just the letters that hopped. Um, I, I like that detail. This was, this was well executed and had a good idea, a very good Thursday theme. The puzzle was also uh, really well filled, I thought. Um, like I noticed at the very beginning, I'm pretty sure this is a low word count puzzle. And uh, these these wide open sections here are well done. I really like Panacea, Planet X, Italian, and Sprocket. That's a great collection of entries. Uh, doilies with its fun... Um, alliteration clue and pH scale up here. Uh, whole saws and clarets maybe are a little more technical for, for my taste, but they're they're fine. Um, we have Awesome over here along with uh, Scrimps and um, US Visa, even the shorter stuff was, was doing well. US Visa and this section up here with Icings and Mini-Me. Um, it's just a, a well-filled puzzle, lots of lots of goodies in here. Um, you know, I, this, this section really screwed me up and, and honestly if Ella had had, um, if I had just gotten Ella, this section might not have done me in. The Rhea with Didist with IES with this weird clue was just a little too much of a pile up for me. Um, plus a seat is not the, is not the most, uh, is, is not, it's not a great partial entry for a crossword puzzle. So, um, my, my biggest criticism would be in, in this section of the puzzle. But, um, other than that, I mean, I had a good time solving this thing and, and I can forgive, uh, um, tripping up at the end. My favorite clue in this puzzle was definitely the clue on Hit Me, because I was totally perplexed. I was certain that it was going to be uh, age over 18, but um, the revealer that, uh, the, the reveal that that was blackjack and that it's risky to ask for another card when your, your sum is above 18, that was, that was really nice, a um, uh, uh, tough Thursday clue. Also, the clue on a pH scale was definitely tough. Bases make up a part of that. I just feel like bases, you know, make up part of a military complex. They make up part of a, a baseball diamond. You know, they make up lots of things. So that was, that was I, I think I caught on pretty quickly. It was my first thought, but only because I was solving a Thursday puzzle. Like if I were solving a Monday, I would have been thinking about uh, maybe a baseball diamond. But um, because I was solving a Thursday, that my first thought was like, what's the, what's the, you know, where are they trying to point me away from? And, um and came came to pH scale reasonably quickly. So yeah, overall this puzzle was just a good time. So uh, thank you Grant Thackeray for the entertainment. Uh, this is a well-made puzzle. I enjoyed it and I hope you guys did too. Uh, let me know what you thought of this. And have a great weekend. I will be back here on Monday. I make these every Monday through Thursday for the New York Times. Uh, and if you're new here and want to see more of these, then um, clicking the red subscribe button below the video is the best way to keep in touch. Thank you so much for watching.